Vest 338 Lapua rifle is associated with something big and expensive. What makes this type of rifle very good is the fact that it takes full advantage of the long-range capabilities of the 338 Lapua Magnum cartridges. This ammo has been around since the 1980s. Not only is it preferred for snipers, but also some hunters and civilian competitive shooters. Its effective range is around 1,900 yards, which is why I recommend it for competitive target practice and hunting. That said, top shelf rifles can easily exceed the 1,900 yards rating, including those that aren't military grade. It's just a matter of having a quality rifle as well as good 338 Lapua cartridges. In 2009, this caliber established a new record for the longest recorded sniper kill from a distance of 2,707 yards. If that's not impressive, I don't know what is. In order to aid your decision-making process, we've compiled a list of the top six best 338 Lapua sniper rifles highlighting their primary features, as well as important factors to consider to help you select the most suitable option for your needs. For a more comprehensive analysis and a comparison tool, feel free to visit our website at gunsyoucantlivewithout.com. Number 6. Barrett MRAD Rifle 338 the MRAD rifle, an outcome of a 2009 U.S. SOCOM request, is Barrett's ingenious innovation. It's a versatile firearm, outshining its predecessors with greater portability, accuracy, and the compatibility to engage smaller targets. Snipers have applauded the MRAD for its accuracy and long-range targeting, easily scoring head and chest shots up to 800 yards. Its 60-degree bolt throw caters to those fond of attaching scopes, with ample room to avoid scope interference. The 22-inch top rail provides generous space for attachments. The MRAD's durability shines through its ability to withstand various climates, from rain and snow to sandy conditions, thanks to its accessible cleaning design and polymer bolt guide acting as a dust cover. Comfort is another forte of the MRAD. Its adjustable stock accommodates different arm sizes, and the polymer cheek plate caters to both left and right-handed shooters. The safety can be switched side to side, contributing to ease of use. A unique feature is the MRAD's cassette-type trigger, located in the lower receiver. It can be removed, cleaned, or adjusted in less than 30 seconds, requiring minimal tools, which is beneficial during operations. The MRAD boasts a magazine feature and bolt action, and it's multi-caliber convertible, capable of firing 308 Winchester, 300 Winchester Magnum, and 338 Lapua Magnum. This conversion is simplified by the double-stacked detachable magazine with an ambidextrous paddle release and partially cut away magwell. The rifle's length is adjustable from 30.9 to 40.9 inches and weighs 14.8 pounds, implying some arm strength required for handling. Overall, the MRAD is an exemplar of versatility and adaptability while maintaining comfort and precision. Number 5. Accuracy International AXMC 338. Here's another high-powered 338 Lapua rifle for all you enthusiasts. The Accuracy International AXMC. This is what I recommend if you want a bolt-action sniper rifle with a larger magazine capacity. The 10 plus 1 round capacity is great for engaging multiple targets in quick succession or for anyone with average shooting skills. The barrel length on the AXMC is 27 inches. It's a bit longer than other models I recommend, but the overall length of the rifle can be brought down to just 48 inches. This makes it somewhat more comfortable to use without sacrificing any distance. A muzzle brake is included. The two-stage trigger does a lot to help maintain shooting consistency, and the three-position safety makes this a beginner-friendly weapon in every sense of the word. One of the standout features is the configurable pistol grip. Another thing I like is the six-lug bolt design with the 60 degrees throw. It keeps the field of vision clear when staring down the scope and works more efficiently than the standard three-lug design. That said, do I think this rifle is for everyone? Not exactly. It's an expensive rifle that's best suited for professionals either in competition or in law enforcement training and other similar applications. Number 4. Desert Tech SRS A2 Stealth Recon Scout Rifle The SRS A2 Stealth Recon Scout Rifle was designed around the core components of accuracy with aircraft-grade materials to minimize size and weight. The A2 design has been refined with enhancements in reliability 
and durability with its improved firing and extraction mechanisms. It is the shortest precision rifle system in existence and has also utilized a new technology polymer that increases strength more than 150% for the same weight. And it's over two pounds lighter than the SRS A1. The SRS A2 maintains one to two MOA accuracy or better because it incorporates match grade barrels, match spec chambers and crowns, a match trigger, and a solid return to zero barrel mounting system. The SRS was designed to operate under the harshest conditions and abuse. It utilizes high impact polymers, aircraft grade aluminums, ultra high strength steels, and some of the strongest coating known to man. The operating mechanisms are completely encased by the stock panels except for the ejection port area. The stock panels attach directly to the receiver which acts as a full-length mounting chassis, eliminating the need for any sort of bedding interface. The SRS maintains its 1-2 to two MOA accuracy and reliability in virtually any environment including sub-zero temperatures, extreme heat, and wet or dusty environments. The ergonomics and balance of the SRS are unmatched. This includes a new 1.5 to 7 pound adjustable trigger that reduces complexity, ensuring rugged field durability with less creep, more crisp break, and a short reset. The trigger also has a flat contour for better ergonomic feel, optimized cheek rest, custom contoured pistol grip, comfortable rear support grip, raised butt pad which positions the shooter's shoulder above the bore line, minimizing muzzle rise and felt recoil, ambidextrous magazine release buttons which easily facilitate one-handed magazine changes so the shooter can stay on the rifle during magazine changes. Several quick sling attachment points are located on the weapon for shooting versatility and are perfectly balanced with the center line of the weapon to ensure the rifle lies comfortably flat when slung. The integral Picatinny rail and the handguard's M-lock mounting points every 45 degrees allow attachment of daytime optics, night or thermal optics, lasers, lights, and stability accessories making the SRA2 truly day and night compatible. It can now be swapped with the SRA2 covert handguard with standard tools, a 3mm hex and T15 Torx. The SRS A2 barrels use standard barrel thread pitches to allow users to mount their favorite muzzle devices. Desert Tactical magazines incorporate a shoulder retention feature that prevents the projectile tips from slamming into the front of the magazine during recoil. In traditional magazines, the projectile tips slam against the front of the magazine, deforming the projectile and in turn diminishing accuracy. This will not happen with Desert Tactical's magazine. In addition, the internal magazine length for the 338LM is a healthy 3.95 inches long, which is 3 inches longer than the competitor, making it possible to load the 300 plus grain bullets out where they are supposed to be. The SRS-1 is the shortest sniper rifle in the world. It is almost a foot shorter than most conventional precision rifles because it utilizes a bullpup configuration as well as collapsible bolt design. This compact design shifts the weight to the rear, creating not only a shorter weapon, but also a perfectly balanced rifle. Number 3. Ruger Precision 338. The Ruger Precision 338 caliber rifle is easily one of the best. It's a bolt action rifle with a barrel length of 26 inches and a twist rate of 1 to 9.375 inches. This ensures optimum spin and good trajectory stabilization. I like that the Ruger Precision rifle comes with a 5 plus 1 round capacity, which allows for more shots in relatively quick succession. The rifle's total length is 52.5 inches and its weight stands at 15.2 pounds without any optics. Clearly, this isn't the most mobile bolt action 338 rifle. That said, this is considered a lightweight model for this caliber. The stock is made of a robust polymer and has an ergonomic finish on the end. One of the things I think you'll appreciate the most is the three lug bolt design with a 70 degrees throw. It makes cocking much easier, also thanks to the dual cocking cams and smooth running action. Between all these features, the included muzzle brake, having no rear sight, and its adjustable trigger and stock, the Ruger Precision 338 rifle is perhaps my favorite when it comes to long distance precision and stopping power. Number 2. Macmillan TAC 338 the Macmillan TAC-338 is a long-range sniper rifle chambered in 338 Lapua Mag. 
boasting a 26.5 inch barrel with a muzzle brake. The medium heavy contour barrel with a 1 in 10 twist caters to both 250 and 300 grain bullets efficiently. The G30 Action, which bears a resemblance to a Remington 700, is notable for its thoughtful features. Pillar, bedded to the stock, it includes a Seiko style extractor and a dual ejector for positive ejection. The G30 facilitates tool-free bolt assembly, essential for cleaning the fire pin assembly. The TAC338's action body, made from 17 to 4 stainless, and the 9130 steel bolt align perfectly, ensuring perpendicularity of the action face to the centerline axis of the bolt, a critical factor for accuracy. The stock on the TAC338 is Macmillan's own A5, perfect for a 338 Lapua with its adjustable length of pull and cheek rest. It features a wide yet rounded forend, better suited for practical purposes than square forends. The A5's flat toe aids stable shooting. Additional features include a detachable box magazine by Accuracy International, a 20 MOA bias Picatinny rail, and an effective, albeit unsightly, muzzle brake. The Picatinny rail facilitates adjustments necessary for scope dialing beyond 1,000 meters. The TAC338 delivers remarkable accuracy at 700 yards, particularly with Black Hills 250 grain Lapua Senar bullets, delivering .35 MOA. The Hornady 250 grain BTHP loads yielded .78 MOA, indicating a preference for the Black Hills load. In conclusion, the TAC338 is an ideal choice for long-range sniping, thanks to its adjustable stock, tight tolerances, and the Macmillan brand's reputation. The well-crafted muzzle brake, comfortable stock, and crisp trigger make it a joy to shoot. It's a soft shooting magnum, perfect for those requiring precision at long distances. Number 1. Kadex CDX-33 The Kadex CDX-33, equipped with a 27-inch Bartlein barrel and a 1 in 9 twist, is a powerhouse rifle capable of launching and stabilizing 300 GR projectiles. Its weight of 14.5 pounds makes it lighter than its competition, yet it's still a sturdy gun. The chassis features a V-shaped bedding block for the flat-bottom Kadex action, ensuring stability. It offers both single-stage DX1 and two-stage DX2 triggers, with this particular model equipped with the DX2. The trigger, which is easily adjustable without removing the action from the chassis, breaks cleanly with no over-travel. The chassis is comfortable and fully adjustable, without tools, offering a lengthy pull and quick adjustments. The optional MX-1 muzzle brake is efficient, reducing recoil to levels comparable to an unbraked 308, making the rifle deceptively easy to use all day. Despite its magnum chambering, the recoil is light compared to the PGW Timberwolf. The quality of the Kadex is evident in its close tolerances and precision machining, featuring tightly fitted components and a harmonious blend of materials. The folding stock locks securely and the chassis adjustments are firm and positive. The rifle's quality matches or surpasses its competitors. Initially, the rifle had issues with a shifting Kadex scope mount during recoil, which was replaced, but the problem persisted. However, a spur mount was later used without any problems. Despite this hiccup, Kadex's customer service was excellent, providing speedy shipment of replacement parts. All adjustments on the Kadex are toolless and easy to use, ensuring secure locking. The stock the stock absorbs recoil well, providing a firm yet comfortable push without any harsh vibrations often associated with Magnum rifles. The Kadex delivers impressive accuracy, yielding a .6 MOA at 100 meters with Factory Federal gold medal match ammunition. It has been consistent with Burger 250 GR hybrid rounds over H1000, consistently delivering 0.4 MOA or less up to 900 meters. The rifle's accuracy, even after long storage periods and its ease of use, surpasses expectations, making it a worthwhile investment for any marksman. And that concludes our compilation of the top 338 Lapua sniper rifles. We hope you found this video informative and valuable. If you did, we kindly request that you give it a thumbs up as we truly appreciate your support. Please share in the comments section below which 338 Lapua sniper rifle you plan on selecting. Thank you for watching, and that wraps up this video. If you enjoyed it and found it beneficial, we would greatly appreciate a like. To stay updated with our future content, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any upcoming videos.